Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So this is a continuation from my previous video that should go up before this one. And it's regarding Meghan and Harry's abuse of their royal status in commenting on US politics. So as I said, I got halfway through this article and the royal biographer, Robert Johnson said, Meghan after all holds American citizenship and has always voted, he said. The business about royals not getting involved in politics is less clear when it comes to Meghan or what the protocol should be in this case. I think it's very clear, you know, she she's an American citizen. She was a regular American citizen, but when she joined the firm, she joined the firm. And when you join the firm, you either formally leave the firm and drop your HRH and stop using your ranking or you don't, you know, it, that's pretty much it. She's still very much attached to the firm by having that Duchess of Sussex. She needs to formally renounce her HRH. I think it's very clear. I think he was nice saying that he's trying to be nice, but we know what it is. He carried on to say, but as she's now back living in her country, I'm sure many would think it wrong that she's not allowed to exercise her democratic right to vote. She can exercise her democratic right to vote. Of course she can, but she cannot vocally exercise uh, her thoughts and feelings not while she still has that hrh active but she still has a dormant hrh title and they are still using the duke of sussex title the duchess of sussex labeling which therefore limits them in that scope they can be normal people they're, they're not in jail here they just have to let go of that formal rank and just be like everyone else that's what this has all been about that's exactly what they should go and do it's a conflict of interest to have them out there using this royal titling but then acting like complete commoners it doesn't make any sense so the article carries on to say royals even in this country are entitled to their opinion such as the very vocal the Prince of Wales and Prince William voice and particularly on the environment and the natural world. They see this as leadership. Yeah, but talking about the ecosystem and carbon emissions in the natural world is very separate. That's You can view that as a charitable humanitarian cause. That's very different to politics. Uh, so he carries on to say, the important part is that they are not partisan as for the monarch or her direct heir to be partisan, could cause a constitutional crisis. Mr. Johnson said he was increasingly open to the idea of stripping the Sussexes of their royal titles for their own benefit and that of the royal family. And that's true. I think that's what should happen. I think they should be stripped or they should give it up. I see if I was in their position at this stage, you've made it clear. You don't want to be in the UK. You don't want to work for the royal family. You don't want to be a part of the firm have some dignity and just give up the title and just go on about your business you know harry will always be the child of princess diana he will always be prince uh charles's son and that's never going to change he just himself will not be a duke or he will not be a prince harry and he will give up his line of succession to the throne and i think with all the disrespect and all of his resentment and hate for it the way he's discarded it and treated it like it was absolute trash, to be honest. He should be more than happy to let go. What's he holding on for? I don't get it. Frankly, I think it would be better for Harry to withdraw, along with his son from the line of succession, to avoid further confusion, he said. By saying they are HRH and the Duke and Duchess, but not allowed to use the titles just confuses the situation. With that issue out of the way, Meghan encouraging people to vote is something that would be praised, not criticised. She speaks well and has passion for political issues. Without a royal title to hold her back, it may set her free to pursue a political career. And it's true. Uh, she'll be free to try and pursue this political career or pursue it in whatever capacity. She just will not be stepping on the shoulders of the Duchess of Sussex labelling. Dishing his title and that includes Prince, would free up Harry too. In the land where he says he is happy and wants to make this life and where titles mean nothing, former palace advisor told the Times that Harry and Meghan's comments were likely to cause concern among royal A's. The political arena is very sensitive for all members of the royal family. You cannot have an apolitical institution which 
is what a hereditary monarchy is and have members of the royal family making even slightly political comments, they said, courtiers would be extremely concerned that if they are going to continue to comment on what could be the most contentious US presidential election in living memory, how difficult could that get? Another source in Palace Circle said, the couple had crossed a line with their intervention on Tuesday. Harry and Meghan spoke in a video clip which was broadcast as part of Time's publication of its annual list of the world's 100 most influential people. So they're getting into what they said and they just make a few comments about what exactly they said. So Meghan said, which is six weeks out from election day and today is National Voter Registration Day. Every four years, we are told the same thing, that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is, she said. When we vote, our values put when we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Your voice is a reminder that you matter because you do and you deserve to be heard. For his part, Harry said, as we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity. Harry urged Americans to be careful about what kind of content they consume online. <laughs> and why is he always telling people what, what kind of content they consume online? If they want to consume whatever they want to consume, they can. Hence, if they want to watch this channel, they can watch this channel. Who are you, Harry, to give people advice? Do, you know, are you everyone's dad now? It's just ridiculous. So he said, when the bad outweighs the good for many, whether we realise it or not, it erodes our ability to have compassion and our ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. What, in your shoes, Harry? Uh, a guy who's not really worked all of his life, has been born with a silver spoon in his mouth, can't be bothered to do any royal engagements, has pretty much renounced his royal birthright for a actress who's been on the scene for about two minutes and pretty much has disgraced his family. That's what he's done and disrespected his family and disrespected his country. I, I don't feel any empathy for what you're going through, Harry. Any kind of comments that you get online that aren't very favourable to your character, you have earned them tenfold. So I'm going to carry on. And he finishes up here and he says, because when one buys into negativity online, the effects are felt exponentially. It's time to not only reflect, but act, he said. Harry also referenced the fact that because he's not a US citizen, he will not be able to vote in November. Well, boo-hoo-hoo. So he added he had never been able to vote in the UK despite being theoretically eligible in the last five general elections since he turned 18. Although British law does not explicitly forbid members of the royal family from voting, the expectation that royals remain apolitical is considered sacrosanct and in practice they never participate in elections by voting or otherwise but since announcing plans to step down as senior royals in january and move into north america megan and harry have quietly expanded their involvement in politics as they forged their own path their comments led to criticism from some u.s officials after it was broadcast on tuesday trump's former campaign manager corey lewandowski teed off on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after they recorded a video plug urging Americans to register to vote and Harry urged Americans to reject hate speech. They made Britain great again by leaving. I hope they do the same for us all. That's a low blow. Did he really say that? I'm going to say that again. So he said, they made Britain great again by leaving. I hope they do the same for us. Meghan and Harry, your your card is marked, okay? The Americans are tired of you. They want you gone. So he said, Lewandowski, a senior 2020 advisor to the Trump campaign, told the DailyMail.com on Wednesday. Trump campaign spokesman Jason Miller indicated he saw no such preference in Prince Harry's words. I'm assuming you're asking me because of Joe Biden's record of hateful and divisive language, particularly toward the African-American community. He responded when asked by DailyMail.com for comment. Then he wrote, I read this as warranted criticism of Joe Biden's racist policies. 
He's the only person I know of who has spoken at a clan member's funeral, a reference to Bajan geology for former the late Senate leader Robert C. Byrd, who was a clan member in West Virginia in the 1940s, but later apologised for what he called a sad mistake. Viewers also lamented the Sussexes as they saw it as a thinly veiled plea to remove Trump from office. However, a source close to Harry insisted the Duke was not referring to Trump or any other individual. And they said the Duke was talking about the tone of debate in the run up to an election. He is not talking about any candidate or specific campaign. He is building on a lot of stuff that he said before about online communities, how we engage with each other online rather than specifically making any political points. Harry also appeared to open the door to taking up US citizenship in the future by saying that he was not eligible to vote at this election. His remark leaves open the possibility that he could seek to vote in a future election, which would likely require him to obtain a green card. A source close to Harry declined to comment on whether his words suggested he would be applying for dual citizenship. They are not working royals. They are private citizens and it's understandable they want to keep those matters private, a source said. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop reading this article. I'm going to get into these comments because I love the comments from the the Daily Mail. It just makes me laugh. So someone said, Mr. Jobson, whose latest book is called The Royal Family Operation Manual, said the couple were now completely detached from the British monarchy and would be best off abandoning their titles altogether. Agree 100%. Then they can be Mr. and Mrs. and as woke as they would like. So there you have it, guys. What do you think? Uh, do you think they should have said anything? I don't think they should have said anything. I personally think that their speech was directed at the sheering out uh, the online hate and disgust that they get daily. That's what I think it was really about. They're always talking about online and online communities. They're not liked. They're not popular. They they don't have much credibility. So I really do believe that that is exactly what has happened for them and they are stewing about it. A lot of people will not be watching their series on Netflix unless it's extremely good. I'll be back with another video. Bye guys.